When you deal with CMEX, you can trust that you are dealing with the best. Meeting or exceeding industry standards, the CMEX product is an extremely valuable commodity. Like any investment in business, correct management is needed to preserve value. Careful handling maintains the Siemens integrity and its quality. In this video, we will introduce you to proper Siemens storage and handling, both at the distribution center and on the farm. Every year, over 5 million doses of semen are shipped through the CMEX distribution center in Guelph, Ontario, Canada, to over 60 distributors around the world. Our shipping and receiving procedures are tested and true, so you can be sure that when a CMEX semen straw arrives at your door, its quality is as good as when it left our door. Let's take a look at how semen is stored and then prepared for shipment. Bull semen can be stored indefinitely when frozen and maintained in liquid nitrogen temperatures of minus 195 degrees Celsius. Frozen semen exposed to temperatures warmer than minus 140 degrees Celsius, even for a short period of time, may be damaged. If a semen straw is not kept at the proper temperature, the potency of its semen can be destroyed and consequently its chances of getting a cow pregnant. During the freezing process, microenvironments are created within the semen straw. Each chemical component within the straw freezes or solidifies at a different temperature. Water begins to freeze at zero degrees Celsius, forming ice crystals. As the water changes to ice, the sperm are exposed to the remaining solution of salts and extender, which freeze at temperatures considerably lower than water. Incorporating glycerol as a protective agent and improved freezing speeds helps to minimize the damage to the semen from these inconsistencies. However, temperatures must be kept well below the critical temperature of minus 140 degrees Celsius. Above this temperature, the ice will recrystallize, damaging the sperm. The tanks in which we store and ship semen are large, metal, vacuum-sealed bottles encased with an extremely efficient insulation system. Similar to a thermos bottle, the tanks use double-walled construction with an evacuated space between the inner and outer walls. It is important to avoid excessive tank movement because the inner chamber is actually suspended from the outer shell by the neck tube, much like a pendulum. Any stress on this neck tube may crack it. If the tube becomes cracked or broken, the vacuum in the outer chamber may be lost. When moving a tank, it's best to use common sense. Use both hands to grasp the tank's handles. Keep the tank in an upright position. Handle it gently. When transporting a tank in a vehicle, put it on a rubber mat or cushion and strap it down snugly to absorb road shock. The tank's inner shell is an unwelded one-piece aluminum container. Its special construction allows for temperatures to be evenly maintained near minus 196 degrees Celsius when at least four inches of liquid nitrogen is present. Liquid nitrogen is considered to be a perfect coolant for frozen semen containers. Its minus 196 degrees Celsius temperature is perfect for semen storage. It is relatively inexpensive and, when used properly, very safe. As nitrogen gas is colorless, odorless, and tasteless, it should always be used and stored in well-ventilated areas. Accidental contact with liquid nitrogen can cause a freezing injury, similar to a burn, which should be treated like frostbite. All distribution center employees must wear a face shield or eye goggles, along with protective gloves when working in the nitrogen. Long sleeves and pants worn outside the boots are also recommended to shield the skin from spilled liquid. Before handling straws, all tools including tongs, 
Forceps, spoons, goblets, canes, and canisters must be cooled by placing them in the liquid nitrogen until they no longer bubble. Individual straws must be handled with cooled tools so as not to affect sperm cell quality. CMEX packages semen in one half and one quarter milliliter French straws. The straws are then placed in a visu tube with four other straws from the same bowl. Two visu tubes are then clipped onto a metal cane identified with the bowl's stud code number. The canes are then immersed in a canister filled with liquid nitrogen. The canes are never transferred individually. With the shipping tank placed close by, the canister should be transferred as quickly as possible to minimize exposure. Throughout the procedure, straws should be kept as vertical as possible, never being turned more than 45 degrees, even when reading straw information. Straws should always be handled and packaged with the plug end down. Straws should be handled and exposed as little as possible to reduce the risk of damage to the semen. The CMEX Alliance works hard to ensure the standardized handling techniques of our highly skilled staff. Our facilities and shipments are closely monitored by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, which ensures every tank is correctly packaged and sealed for international delivery. After shipment from the distribution center, the semen straw is then transferred to the farm. When handling semen within the tank at the farm, many of the same principles from the distribution center still apply, and the same protective measures must be taken to ensure the handler's safety and the semen straw's integrity. The tank's aluminum shell is extremely well suited for what can often be punishing livestock environments. The tank's design and construction allow it to hold its liquid nitrogen for six to nine months, depending on tank size, model, and usage pattern. However, this design and construction does not shield the tank or its contents from damage due to mishandling. The semen tank should be kept in a clean, dry, and secure area. To increase the vacuum holding time, the tank should be kept in a cool location away from direct sunlight. Keeping the tank elevated using boards or wooden pallets helps guard against corrosion. The tank should be kept in an area away from children, but in a spot where it may be monitored daily for any unusual frosting or sweating. The tank location should also be away from milk cooler drafts, furnaces, or outside air. To prevent suffocation due to the high proportion of nitrogen gas in the air around the tank, the location should also be well ventilated. In the typical farm semen tank, temperatures dangerous to frozen semen exist in the upper half of the neck tube. Exposure to these temperatures can occur handling semen within the neck when trying to locate a specific unit and when transferring semen from tank to tank. It is important to always lower the canister back into the tank if it has been exposed to tank neck temperatures for more than 10 seconds. Never raise the canister more than two inches below the top of the tank's neck tube. Thermal injury to sperm is permanent and cannot be corrected by returning the semen to the liquid nitrogen. When transferring semen, have the tanks as close together as possible. Have the appropriate canister in each tank in the center position. Transfer the cane semen quickly, within three seconds, and never touch the semen straws with bare hands. Do not raise the semen canes above the top of the tank unless transferring the complete cane to the other tank. Develop a semen inventory system, and if possible, keep it close to the tank. This will allow for quick confirmations of semen codes and locations. 
It is recommended to keep semen from a single bowl on each cane. This prevents unnecessary searching and semen exposure. Minimizing tank-to-tank -tank transfer, exposure to dangerous temperatures, and following our quality and safety standards preserves CMEX's highly valued product, from the lab to the distribution center and onto the farm for insemination. Delivering the best possible product to the farmer is our goal, and at the end of the day, our handling procedures ensure that the CMEX straw of semen is second to none. CMEX delivers semen handling techniques.